Hello children, myself Divya Sharma from Shiv Jyoti Educational Group Kota. Today we will be having a revision of chapter number 1 of your social science that is landforms of the world. Okay, so I will be covering the important points which were covered in the chapter. Let's cover it through points to remember. Okay, first we learnt about in this chapter that what are landforms. The different features that makes up the earth's surface are called landforms. Okay, like uh, you have different landforms such as mountains, plateaus, plains, valleys, rivers. Okay, now then we discussed mountains. Okay, mountains are uh, rocky land masses. Okay, that rise higher above the surroundings and they have sloping roofs and high peaks. Okay, then we learnt about valleys and passes. Then we learnt about valleys and passes. Valleys are low land between two hills is called a valley. Okay, and passes you must have noticed that uh, in mountains you have natural gaps which develop. These are called passes which are helpful for the uh, people who uh, cover the mountain areas. They go through these passes. Okay, these are natural gaps which are formed in the mountains. Then we discussed about plateaus, plains and deserts. Plateaus, plateau is a flat table land that uh, rises a little bit higher above the ground. Plains are flat lands with gentle slopes and deserts. Deserts are extremely dry areas of land where you will not find any vegetation and it rains very less in the desert regions. Okay. Then we discussed peninsulas and islands. Okay. Peninsulas, the land surrounded by water on three sides is called a peninsula. For example, India is a peninsula as it is covered with three water bodies that is the Bay of Bengal, Arabian Sea and the Indian Ocean. Okay. Then islands. Islands are totally surrounded by water. It's a landmass which surround, uh, which is surrounded totally by water. Then we discussed coasts and bays. Coasts, a land, uh, a place where land meets the sea, is called a coast. Okay. Bays. Bay is a water body running into the land. Okay. That is called a bay. Then we discussed rivers, which was the last topic. Uh, you have perennial rivers and seasonal rivers. Perennial rivers uh, which have water throughout the year, whereas seasonal rivers, they are totally dependent on the rainwater. Okay? So, uh, this is the difference between a perennial river and a seasonal river. These were the topics which were covered in chapter number 1. Okay? Now, Let's uh, discuss the internal questions of the chapter. First internal question, name one of the cold deserts. Answer is Antarctica. You will find this on page number 4 in the did you know box. Question 2, name the strait that lies between India and Sri Lanka. That is the Park Strait. Page number 5 in the did you know box, you will get both the internal question. So, you have to mark it in your book. Okay. Now, let's uh, have a revision of the book work and the copy work. So, you can uh, take out your books, page number 6. Let's discuss the first exercise. A. Fill in the blanks. First, the lowland between two mountains is called valley. Second, the Tibetan plateau is known as the roof of the world. Third, a triangular piece of land near the mouth of a river is called delta. Fourth, a perennial river starts in the mountains. Fifth, the tip of a peninsula is called a cape. Now, let's discuss question number B. Name these. First, the largest desert in the world, Sahara. Second, the longest river in the world, Nile. Third, the highest peak in the world, Mount Everest. Fourth, an island country in the Indian Ocean, Sri Lanka. 
fifth a plateau in India, Deccan Plateau. Now let's move ahead with multiple choice questions. First, the black forest mountains are fold mountains, block mountains, volcanic mountains or glaciers. The correct answer is block mountains. Second, lowland between hills or mountains is called a pass, valley, peak, plateau. Correct answer is valley. Third, the landforms that are most heavily populated are coasts, plateaus, plains, mountains. The correct answer is plains. Fourth, the Kalahari Desert lies in Southern Africa, South America, North Africa, Europe. The correct answer is A, Southern Africa. Fifth, small rivers that flow into the main river are called distributaries, tributaries, perennial rivers, seasonal rivers. The correct answer is B, tributaries. Now let's discuss the copy work, okay? First define the following, you have first bay, water body surrounded on three sides by land, that is called a bay. Second, peninsula, a land mass which projects into the sea and is surrounded by water on three sides, this is called a peninsula. Now answer the following questions, question 1, what are landforms, name the main landforms of the earth. Answer, the different features that make up the earth's surface are called landforms. The four main landforms of the earth are mountains, plains, plateaus and deserts. Okay, now dis discussing question 2, what are fold mountains? Give an example. Answer, mountains which are formed when two large land masses push against each other are called fold mountains, example the Alps in Europe. Now these mountains are formed when two large land masses, they push against each other and they form a fold, hence they result in the fold mountains, an example is Alps in Europe. Question number 3, what is the difference between a mountain and a plateau? Answer. First mountain we'll discuss, a mountain is a rocky mass of land that rises higher than the surroundings. Second, mountains have very steep slopes and high peaks, example the Himalayas. Now plateau, a plateau is a large area of land that is higher than the surroundings. Plateaus are more or less flat at the top, example the Deccan Plateau. Now question number 4, what is the difference between a perennial and a seasonal river? First perennial river, the rivers which flow throughout the year are known as perennial rivers. Second, these rivers originate from the Himalayas. Third, these rivers are fed by melting snow. Seasonal rivers, the rivers which flow only during rainy months of the year are known as seasonal rivers. These rivers do not originate from the Himalayas. These rivers are fed by rain. Seasonal rivers are totally uh, dependent on rain, okay? And uh, perennial rivers, they will flow throughout the year as they, uh, they are fed by the melting snow. Question number five. What is a desert? Name some of the important deserts of the world. Answer, deserts are large, extremely dry areas of land. Some of the important deserts of the world are, first, the Sahara Desert in North Africa, second, the Thar Desert in India. So this was all about a revision of chapter one, children. You have to go through the previous video lecture, okay? and complete your book work and copy work. Thank you.